But despite the U.S. surpassing 600,000 COVID deaths, people are traveling once again. Americans are hitting the skies in record numbers. Two million people went through airport security Friday and Saturday for the first time since March of 2020. But if your plans take you out of the country, you'll need to know a few things. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live at CVG with what you may need to pack in your travel bag. Hey, Brad. Hi, Kyle. Yeah, depending on where you're going out of the country, there are at least three things that you will need. Your passport, obviously, your vaccination card or proof of a negative test and medical insurance. Now, before the pandemic, there were some countries that did require tourists to have travel medical insurance. But now, as the world is reopening, more countries are making it mandatory. As we begin to leave the pandemic behind us, more Americans are leaving the country. Eleuthera, Punta Cana, and I just recently came back from Bermuda. Lauren Schaefer is now back after island hopping in the Bahamas and the Caribbean. But as you can imagine, extra precautions are being taken on the islands. Each country has really is really scrambling to figure this out, right? So they are trying to keep their country safe, but allow tourists to come in. And so each day it changes. For some countries, that means visitors must get the vaccine, take COVID tests before flying, after landing and during the stay. Taking it even further, some countries require special insurance coverage. Many countries across the world, the world including Australia, for example, they are requiring a valid uh, travel medical insurance. And some adding another layer of protection by requiring COVID-19 insurance. Insurance that protects you if you get COVID on vacation. Omar Kwan's company Goose Insurance offers both plans through an app. It covers uh, U.S. residents when they're traveling outside of the U.S. And if they do test positive, it has up to $500,000 of, tra uh, of travel medical emergency coverage. Like paying all expenses while quarantined in a foreign country. The AAA says its agents are seeing an increase of international bookings. Some are planning for the summertime, but we've seen a lot more activity where they're playing, planning for fall and even into 2022. At CVG right now, you can already fly to Punta Cana, Cancun and Los Cabos. In September, you'll be able to fly directly to Toronto and Paris. These countries are taking a risk letting us back in, right? So they all have to do what they have to do. Schaefer says while the testing lines were long and waiting for results in quarantine isn't ideal on vacation, it's worth it. For some people, it was a four-hour ordeal. You know, you could complain about it, but then again, they let us into their country. So Now, before leaving some of these countries, you are required to take in, uh, pass a, a COVID test. You can also book some of those ahead of time. That is what uh, travel experts are advising. And of course, when you return to the U.S., you will have to pass a COVID test to enter the country. That's mostly offered at the airport. Reporting live at CBG, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. All right, Brad, good information there. Now, there is no blanket policy. Countries, even states, all have different rules. You can see all of them at the link to this story at local12.com.